Let's talk about tenure pay. There were some changes and some talk about that this summer. Yeah. What can you tell us about that? Again, uh, legislation that was passed, and so now we're trying to figure out how to make sure that we comply as a school district. And so what has to happen is, is that uh, we are able to offer uh, four-year contracts to 25% of our teachers. Uh, and so there used to be what was affectionately okay. called tenure. Uh, now it is contracts. And so there are some specific eligibility for being offered a four-year contract as opposed to a two-year contract. Mm -hmm. If you're identified uh, being offered the 25% of uh, teachers who could be offered the four-year mm -hmm. contract, it comes with some additional pay. And so now we're trying to read through that legislation, decide wow. how we would implement that here in Charlotte Mecklenburg. And it's complicated. There's some questions that we have. Uh, we're uh, asking for uh, more clarity around legislative intent. We're working with the Department of Public Instruction. We're working with other school districts. And then mm -hmm. uh, as soon as we get clarity around the, the legislative intent, then we're involve our employees in terms of how we would do that. But it's complicated. It means we're going to have to uh, evaluate every teacher this year mm -hmm. who's eligible, uh, then go through the process of what happens if there's more teachers wow. eligible for meeting the criteria, then remember, we can only offer 25%. And so if you've got four outstanding algebra teachers at a school, uh, they all basically meet the requirements. Theoretically, mm -hmm. you could only offer one of the four a four-year contract. So what happens to that other 75%? Well, Do they, is there a waiting or too bad for you? Sorry, maybe <laughs> next time. Uh, again, we're trying to figure out exactly the entire uh, legislative intent behind it. But right now, uh, the way that we're reading it is you can offer 25% uh, of your workforce who's eligible. Mm -hmm. uh, that's, you know, theoretically one out of every four teachers who meet the criteria, they can get the four-year contract mm -hmm. and the additional pay. And, and so instead of writing it in a way that if you met a certain criteria, mm -hmm. so for example, on your evaluations, if you were distinguished or accomplished, you could be eligible for a four-year contract or additional pay. It's very specific. It's 25% of those eligible. And so there are going to be some cases where there's going to be one teacher says, well, I'm at the same level as this teacher, and yet they got offered and I didn't. Mm -hmm. Uh, so we're going to have to work our way through that. We're do it, um, making sure we're complying with the mm -hmm. state legislation, but also trying to get as much input as we can from our valued employees. Yeah, trying to be fair to all of the teachers. Yeah, and care. transparent, and, and to make sure that we get as much involvement as we can. Ultimately, I have to make a recommendation on how to implement this particular mm -hmm. piece of legislation, and our school board has to make a very important decision.